Hey guys, this is Anil here from Fiction VFX Studio. Today we will learn how to make a cloth explode in Blender. So let's get started. First, press Shift plus A to add a cube and scale it to give it a shape like this. After that, press Ctrl plus A to apply the scale. Next, go to Edit Mode, select the top face of the cube, and press Ctrl plus P to separate the face. After that, select the separated face, go to Edit Mode, right-click, and select Subdivide. Then set the subdivision to 30. Now we don't need the simulation on all four sides of the cloth, so first, select the faces on all four sides. Then go to the Vertex Group tab, create a new Vertex Group, and click on Assign. Next, go to the Physics tab, enable the Cloth Modifier, then scroll down and select the same Vertex Group in the Pin Group option. Now let's run the simulation. As you can see, our cloth is simulating correctly, and the pin is also working. To make it explode, we need to create pressure. So go to the Cloth Modifier, scroll down to the Pressure tab, and set the pressure to 0 at keyframe 0. Then at keyframe 60, set the pressure to 35. Now as you can see, the pressure has been created, and the cloth is inflating. To make the cloth explode, go to Edit Mode, select the Knife tool, switch to Edge Mode, and draw cuts wherever you want the cloth to tear. After drawing, press Enter, go to the Mesh menu, then select Split, Faces and Edges by Vertices. This will separate the cut faces from the other faces. Now when you run the simulation, you will see that the cloth is exploding, but it's happening too quickly. To delay the explosion slightly, go to the Modifier tab, add a Weld modifier, and place this modifier above the cloth modifier. Otherwise, it won't work properly. The weld modifier will hold the vertices together. Now you can see the cloth is no longer exploding. To trigger the explosion, we'll animate the distance property. Add a keyframe at frame 59 and set the distance value as it is. Then at frame 61, set the distance to 0 and add another keyframe. Now you can see that the cloth inflates first and then explodes at a specific moment. However, after the explosion, the pieces are floating too much. To fix this, go back to the Cloth Modifier, go to the Pressure tab, and set the pressure to zero at frame 70. This will stop the cloth from staying inflated and allow it to fall naturally with gravity. Now you can see the cloth inflates, explodes, and falls down realistically. To make the cloth look more realistic, go to the Modifier tab, add a Subdivision modifier, and set the level to 2. Finally, right-click the cloth and select Shade Smooth. Now you can see the cloth looks much more realistic. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you so much for watching my video. For more amazing content, please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. I also make exciting tutorials and short films on my YouTube channel, so be sure to check out my other videos. You can also explore my work on platforms like Patreon, Gumroad, Fab, and CG Trader. If you'd like to support me, please consider purchasing my work if you enjoy it. And yes, don't forget to like and share. Until then, bye and see you in the next tutorial.